Okay, it's Monday morning, the 22nd, 9 a.m. We've got the usual fire heating up everything. So what I'm doing uh, this morning is I'm going through everything. These two right here, I've got to redo them. They were just testing, but I'm saving that kind of like for last. So what I'm doing here this morning is I'm sanding, giving a light sanding on everything. And then I'll take, take a damp rag and uh, clean off all the dust that I've made. Then after that, it's uh, this stuff right here. Just a very, very light coat. I'm just barely brushing it. Just, I'm cleaning off my brush before I even touch it. Otherwise, it gets too, it gets too blotchy. You can see the blotches that we don't like. The whole goal is to make this wood grain. See all this cool wood grain? The whole goal is to make that stand out. So by giving it a light sanding everywhere and then rubbing it down with a damp cloth, it'll bring that grain out and that stain's going to stick to it. So anyway, it's another full day here. It's going to be warming up this next week, though. Uh, they're almost talking 60 midweek. Rain every day, but we can deal with that. Anyway, on I go. Okay, so I've started to brush on the stain. Pretty much what I do is I just get very, very little stain on my brush. And then I come over here to this piece of wood and I'm just trying to clear it. All I want is just a light dusting of stain um, on my brush and then I apply it. Otherwise, like I said, you end up with this blotchiness. And again, I'm gonna resand this one and do this one over. But uh, yeah, here's one I've done right there. Um, and this is the other one. I'm done with this, gonna let it dry and then we'll proceed with the rest of these but i use very little stain to bring out the highlights in the wood grain you know you can see the wood grain standing out so anyway that's what we got going so here's kind of the look we're going for right here um this is off the internet so anyway that's what i'm looking for okay well this is the trim paint i'm using on everything here's all the handles uh drawer pulls those are drawer pulls. And I went ahead and threw a light staining on all, everything in here now. Should have worn a mask in here. Of course I didn't. That was my block. I'm not doing that. So anyway, here we go. I uh, think I'll let this thing dry. And then we've got to put the poly. I'm not going to fix these yet because I don't want to create a bunch of dust. So, uh, yep. Uh, we got all these done. So anyway, there you got it. Um, and like I said, when I put on this stain, I barely put any on. I just used it, just tickled it with the brushes, actually. Otherwise, if, if you don't, you can see how it ends up thick. That's not the look I'm looking for. It's pretty difficult. I wish there was another way to do it, but uh, I think this will look good.